going to do something a little different. This is going to be an update on flood insurance legislation. So I usually don't read, however, this is so comprehensive or has a long list of items, I have to refer to a report that I have. So you have to pardon me if I read this, but sort of give you an update. I think it's timely as to where we are as far as flood insurance is concerned. Uh, here are some of the highlights. It caps the annual flood insurance increases to 18% for properties built after 1975. And if you went ahead and, and had to pay an outrageous premium before 1975, uh, you can see about applying for a refund. Uh, there is grandfathering, which is reinstated, which means if you built your house and or the house was built pursuant to the FEMA guidelines, well then it's, it's grandfathered in and you'll keep getting the same uh, uh, flood insurance premium. Uh, the grandfathering now stays with the property and, and uh, so, that, uh, so that if you sell the property it doesn't necessarily mean that that you have to have a, uh, a new uh, that, that it triggers any any change. So even if you sell the property, uh, the flood insurance rating or whatever stays the same. Uh, residential policy holders will incur a fifty dollars surcharge annually, and uh, for businesses and second homes, the surcharge is two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, Next, FEMA will strive to reach a, a goal where the, the premium is uh, no greater than 1% of the, of the coverage of, of the property. So if you had a $200,000 house, well then your premium would, they're trying to keep it at $2,000. Uh, the, they've gone back on the, under the act uh, now that you the substantial improvement is you you're at the 50 percent guideline under the act they were rolling that back to 35 percent but now it's 50 percent um, the established uh, a ombudsman for under flood insurance or someone you can contact uh, to try and answer your questions about that unfortunately I don't have the number or how to get in touch with them and I don't even know if that's been established yet or not. Uh, they also are going to make arrangements so flood insurance can be paid in monthly payments and, uh, and if you, you appeal your flood designation to FEMA and you win, well FEMA will reimburse your premium. Uh, they're trying to set up uh, a regulatory framework that will encourage other insurers to come in and write flood insurance. Uh, and this would be to uh, basically for residential coverages. This won't be for uh, apply to second homes or commercial properties. Uh, they also change the, what they mean by f flood and then they have different types of coverages that you can obtain. You can get a standard coverage, a preferred coverage, a customized coverage, and a supplemental coverage. I'm not going to go through what all each one of these coverages are. It's enough to know that if you can see about getting your, your coverages customized and you can see how much uh, the, the premium difference there is. Uh, it it uh, allows a surplus lines agent to send the contract out for endorsement for surplus lines companies without making a diligent effort to find coverage with the primary uh, insurer. Uh, it, uh, it prohibits uh, state created increases for hurricane uh, under the hurricane fund. I'm not sure just what they mean by that allows Florida Insurance Commissioner to provide for any federally required certifications and uh, the bill is effective upon coming law. So uh, hopefully that gives you, gives you enough to know that there's been some changes. I suggest that if you have questions, hopefully your insurance agent is aware of all these changes. So if you speak to them, 
they will be able to uh, bring you up to date uh, as to what effect of, of your coverage is. If you have any, want some of this material or whatever, if you contact me, I'll be glad to uh, send you a copy of this, uh, of this synopsis uh, on the paper I'm reading from, which is an, it's a, a, a newsletter that I received from the Real Property Probate and Trust Law section of the Florida Bar. My phone number is 727-847-2288. Thank you.